like with the um, rain in Durban, we've had postponements of, of races, and now we actually have a, a big feature card on Friday, the 3rd of May. We have um, quite a few runners. Let's we'll start with the Phillies Guineas, where we got Princess Irene um, in front and center, who was a top-rated filly on, on ratings. Could you just start with, with those two and then just give us your thoughts on prep and how they've gone about in Durban? Yeah, Troy, it's been testing time the last week in Durban. There's been a lot of rain, um, so their work schedule hasn't quite worked out to plan. But, uh, you know, Peter's done a great job in, in doing the best we can with, with what we were dished out. Um, both fillies, obviously, it's stepping stones towards different goals in the season. Princess Irene will be aimed at the Willavington after this. Um, and obviously, front and centre will go for the Tibishina and the Garden Province. So both fillies using as stepping stones. But in saying that, they, they both done very well since settling into Durban. Unfortunately, they both have wide draws to come from on Friday night. But as I say, it's, it's stepping stones. Both fillies are doing well. Front and centre is a class filly. Um, and I still think even though the draws are against us, uh, they'll both put up good performances. Let's just chat about Undercover Agent. Could you chat to us about his intended run in the drill hall stakes coming up on Friday night? Uh, Troy, once again, uh, settled in really well to Durban. Uh, he's, he's had uh, um, three grass gallops since he's been there. He's done exceptionally well. He jumps from a great barrier. Uh, he loves gravel. He's in great form. Um, and I have no doubt he'll make his presence felt in the drill hall. Cornet's mentioned that he's feeling really well and he's adjusted to the new surroundings. Um, like you said, he raced really well in Durban last season. Is there anything to consider to factor in, like night racing, anything like that, or just business as usual for him? No, he's raced at night before, so there's, there's, there's nothing that's going to be uh, strange for him. Um, and as I say, he's in great form. Let's talk about Charles. Um, he's a horse that looks like he's maturing with each run. He had a really cracking run in the Derby, and now he's uh, running in the, the Colts Guineas. Can you chat to us about his form and, and what he's doing at home? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's shown in the Derby, you know, he, he ran a great race. He a bit unlucky on the day, but um, nevertheless, a great run first first up in a Group 1. So, you know, he's, he's once again a horse that's prepping for, for bigger things in, in the Durban season, but the Guineas is always a good starting point. We have fitted blinkers back to him for the mile. Um, as he's a very laid back horse and we just want to make him focus a bit more on what he's doing. Um, so he's in good form, um, he's, his fitness levels are, are very acceptable, um, he looks amazing and like I say, I think uh, he, he'll be a runner on the night. Does the blinkers actually change how you ride him or would you still ride him sort of um, more mid midfield and let him run on? Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day it, it is a stepping stone for him. So. I think so much depends on the pace of the race. So we'll bounce positively and then we'll just take it from there. Perfect.